so it doesn't really throw my waving. All right, so that. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's look. Okay. That. And then we go. This. Not marketing that. Sorry. Um, I'm early. I just got back. Look, I'm like all oh, flipping sweaty. <laughs> Can you see? Like flipping sweat. All over. Anyways, so I rode my bike and <laughs> pushed my bike up the hill. And and funny enough, I left late. <laughs> And then thinking that I was going to not be there in time, I pushed myself hard and, and I even had to stop at uh, Dollar General, sorry, I had to stop at Dollar General to uh, get some WD-40 because, oh, what the hell was that? Was that a spider? <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, so, um, it is Friday, right? I'm off tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, anyways, so, um... I stopped to, to get some WD-40. The salt, it totally was killing my chain. <laughs> I was like having the hardest trouble getting to, to work for the last couple days. I mean, other than yesterday, because I was, I didn't go anywhere yesterday. But I was like, what the flip is going on? And I finally looked at my chain and I was like, damn, oh, flip. I was like, I should have noticed that earlier. Play him off keyboard cat. What? I I don't know the reference. Okay, let's see if there's anything in the store for free. But I haven't taken off my socks yet, so that might actually happen back rooms. Hmm. They're starting this weird lore about like back rooms and stuff like that. It's actually a place and it's probably gonna end up being a place eventually. Over your ears. I shall take. Thank you for the gift. I'm sure there's going to be donkey stuff in here as well. So, uh, yeah. Anyways. Um. Well, damn. We're going into. And then I gotta take off my flipping socks. They're one of my pair of pants put away my laundry tomorrow like my dry laundry <laughs> I do laundry the day before yesterday it usually takes about two days to dry sorry that three pairs of socks three pairs of socks it was seven degrees this morning and I'm riding down the damn hill Ugh, like a bat out of hell but anyways, it warmed up to 9 degrees at the bottom of the mountain. Well, that's what most of the uh, things said, but started out in 7 degrees weather. And by the time I got to work, it was 9 degrees. And then it warmed up to, uh, like, flipping, what is that called? Sorry, excuse me. warmed up to like 23 degrees the nice uh, cashier was like you know he remembered me from last time I, not normally memorable but I, I guess I was but he was like did you find everything you needed they didn't have these <laughs> uh, you know at room temp last time and that was my only complaint and the, the manager of the uh, the store had because now it's cold as flip it feels like it's been in the fridge for like a good like <laughs> day or so but oh yeah I almost forgot what I was doing so um, I'm gonna pop that. I'm looking for diamonds. 
because diamonds are a Minecraft's best friend. Minecrafter, I guess you would say. <laughs> if only you could make diamond gear, like uh, where they say IRL in real life, you know. I didn't have anybody shout anything at me today. So, I guess people are minding their manners or... <laughs> I'm sorry, that's probably really rude. But, um, I, I don't think it's polite whenever somebody sits there and, and shouts like, you know, ride it and whatnot while you're riding a bike. I mean, it's, it's a little loot when you, you get down to it. But other than that, I've had like maybe three or four compliments on my helmet. I was like, damn, nice. I was like, flip, that's, that's amazing. Like my, my helmet's for, you know, protection from the sun and whatnot. It's like, uh, people thought it was like a Halloween thing. I was like, all right, all right. I was like, yeah, it just protects me from the sun and, and, you know, the elements. If you've ever been behind a, a truck, <laughs> that, um, constru construction truck that's carrying a lot of little, little rocks and whatnot, it, uh, those, those little rocks and pebbles fall off, okay? And, and they can be quite dangerous, so my... My, like, I have this little shield like thing that's going on. Protects me, protects me from the sun and the elements. Because going down that hill, I'd probably get wind burn like a mother effer. What the hell is that? Oh, okay. Fletching table. Because I just got flint. It's the only thing I can make with flint. Interestingly enough. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Whoops. I could have, um, I didn't know there was more of it. Anyways. Someone is cooking something that smells flipping amazing. I mean, they really should pat themselves on a bat. Back. Bat, yeah. They need to pat themselves on the bat. You know, you get a bat and pat it. But it's been a long day today. I feel like I'm interrogating people. <laughs> I'm like, you, do you have rewards with us? <laughs> it's like, uh, do you want a, a receipt? Do you, you know? It's like, tell me if you want a receipt. <laughs> but like, yeah, cause it, um, it prompts the, like when, when you have to be at the cashier, like at the register, there's a certain prompt you have to ask the, um, if there is a product warranty on it, you have to ask them for about the, uh, if they, if they were interested in the highest one, and if they're not interested in the highest one, then you move to the lowest one, like, well, the, the next highest one, and, and they're just, like, already, like, no, I, I, told you I didn't want it and I'm like I'm sorry I, I gotta ask and they're like eh. <laughs> but uh yeah and then you have to ask if they want a bag because not everybody wants a bag and, and I was told today that in Vermont they're the like it's not illegal but they they kind of like 
they got rid of plastic bags. I was like, okay, uh, dude, that's cool. Everybody has to use their own little bags just to uh, bring home groceries and stuff. Mm. Yeah, okay. I use my bag to uh, bring home groceries. But if I don't have my, my bags on me, then I will take the plastic bag. No, 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 no. We, sorry, we just, fuck. We, we need to close this up. They need to go away. <laughs> sorry. Closing this up. I hear a witch, and that's not good. I'm freaking... Ah, oh, my head hurts. Okay, so... I had a huge, like, mouthful of flipping exhaust on the way home. It was awful. freak me out like uh, I don't like that I don't like that at all that sound is like you know kind of like death right there complete weakness and death I thought I saw movement <laughs> anyways um talking about but I, I, I rem okay so I blinded like flipping four times on the way home like people with their brights and they only switched it because like someone else with their brights were coming up behind me I was like Dude. so I'm like I'm trying to go like this and I had to veer off the road like because I'm on the little skirt of the road the side of it because they don't have any sidewalks in the in the boonie parts and these are like really really dark roads and of course they're gonna use their brights but you think like I have like this little bike light but you think seeing this bike light they would sit there and turn off their brights no no not everybody there were quite a few people, like maybe four or five of them, that actually did turn off the brights and, and I wave, I'm like, yeah, thank you, you know, that's, I appreciate you, kind of, you know, thing, but, eesh, some of these people, like, <laughs> they wait till they're, like, right on you and then they turn off their, you know, their brights. It's like, wow. It's like that one song, Blinded by the Light. Do -do 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 -do. Anyways, so, uh, <laughs> it's an oldie. I don't know all of the song, but if, if I do sing all of it, or some of it, enough to, um, get myself copyright strike. <laughs> oh, flip. That would be bad. I'm just like, oh, you put this song in here? Huh? You wanted to sing it? No, 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 no. We're gonna like mute this. We're gonna have you mute like five minutes of your video just because you sat there for like 30 seconds and sang a bit of a song. I was like, what? What? It's like, thank you, YouTube. <laughs> I'll do.
so I was watching this one conspiracy, conspiracy theorist reviewer and because I'm doing research, okay? That's freaking me out. I don't know which side it's coming from either because I don't know which side I'm supposed to be hearing that out of. They're probably underneath me or above me, maybe. But that, that witch sound is really freaking me out. But anyways, this conspiracy theorist. He was talking about how he keeps getting flagged and I was like, dude. I was like, I got flagged for medical advice when I was recommending chamomile tea. I was like, damn, I was like, I ain't even said that I wasn't a doctor. And I was like, but I was like, this actually works for me, but if you're allergic to it, don't drink it. You know, I, I said this in a video. I don't want to explain what else I said because I'll probably get uh, my whole video taken down because of misinformation. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. So, <laughs> because it said it was misinformation and it said it was medical information and I was like, what the hell are you talking about? I was like, I watched the whole damn video. I was like, I didn't give any medical advice. I was like, I had mentioned about chamomile tea and like uh, how you shouldn't like drink too much of it and everything and I got that video like, I was, uh, anyways, it was like too much of anything could be a bad thing, honestly, but I got flagged. No, it, it flagged me and it, uh, I got a strike for that. <laughs> and I was like, Hmm. Don't recommend chamomile tea. Got it. <laughs> but anyways, he was saying how he keeps getting a uh, fly just because he's talking about uh, the the blah 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 <laughs> the um the vid the you know the uh, <coughs> and. and and then, uh, <laughs> he keeps getting, like, um, attacked because of that. And he is one of those, uh, people who, uh, I don't, I don't know if I should, like, anyways, he, um, he gets like copyright strike and he's like trying to get everybody on his discord and I was like I am not flipping going on discord my ex tried to sell me on discord no I'm serious for real I was like I I was like I, I can't even I was like I know it's not the platform's fault but the whole fact that he was allowed to do that kind of thing I was like, no. I was like, just because of that, I hope your flipping, like, flipping app dies. I mean, like, dude. I know, like, people, like, are on, like, Facebook and they're doing that too. But it was like, whoa. I have to be on Facebook so that I can spy on my, um... I'm spying on my ex's wife because she's posting my, my children's, uh, videos. Like, not videos, but my my children's pictures and that's the only way I can see if they're all right I don't have a phone number I don't have a, a flip-in yeah they are they're pretty much um destroying my rights to be able to talk to my children once a day I have a court order saying that I am allowed to talk to them once a day every day if I want at least once a day I don't have to pay child support I don't have to um what is that called uh I should be allowed to visit but I'm in another state and that's kind of hard to do on a bicycle you know but I have a, I, I'm pretty sure he's 14, a 14 year old and a 10 year old. Let me just do the math really quick. 
His birthday was in March. So let's hold on a second. I'm mathing right now. That's why it's so bright. <laughs> I'm using a calculator. Yes, I'm cheating. I can't think right now. Um, it is the year 2023. And you subtract from the birthday. He is 14. And then I have one that is. Aw, oh, it won't let me cheat like that. Okay, so 2023 minus. And a 10-year-old. I have a 14-year-old and a 10-year-old. And I haven't seen them for over flipping six years. Last time I saw them, I was told that I was allowed to be the aunt that it was going to be too confusing for them because um, the female who is married to my ex is calling herself mommy to my little kids and well to my children and and her child because they had a child like flip I, I'd like to say almost a year after they got together I mean they pretty much put a bun in the oven like right before they got married I guess <laughs> but he he married someone like a few months after we divorced yeah it was it was whatever uh, I found out he was cheating on me the whole flipping time we were working at Walmart everybody else knew and they were like wow you know uh, I'm glad you you kicked um blah blah to the the curb and blah 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 he was cheating on you so bad and I was like wait what and they were like yeah he he asked me blah 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 and blah 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 and he was he was going after Bonnie and Bonnie's like a 60 something year old and I'm like what? I was like he was trying to get it from everyone then I was like holy damn but he ended up marrying uh, I think 10 years younger than me <laughs> she was really young I think she was like 21 and I was 30 31 at the time like I guess I was the old cow there dude there was this one person that was uh calling himself a dating expert and everything and he's like any woman above you know um above 29 is a cow and I was like what he's like yeah he's like I I take these uh these cows all the time they're looking for this and that and they they want a man with a job and and I was like uh, I was like, no, really? Uh, a man with a job? I, I was like, hmm, is, is that really such a, a bad thing to, like, look for? I, I mean, <laughs> is it? I was like, they, they're just trying to, like, you know, have standards. They don't want to sit there and take care of somebody. You know? like to the point where they have to financially take care of somebody and not know what they're doing behind their back you know but whatever Ooh. They, they want a financially successful male Ooh. so sad so crazy and they're a cow <laughs> but anyways um <clears throat> And how they don't want someone living out of their mother's basement. And I was like, that's that's pretty um that that's pretty roundabout for everyone. They they don't really want somebody who's dependent on their their mother. And I was like, most times whenever you bring uh a, a mother into a relationship, it's really, really unhealthy. Like really, really unhealthy. I'm dude. I am kind of speaking from, first off, uh, 13 years of experience being married to uh, the first one who I had two children with. We were together 13 years. It's 
mother was atrocious. Atrocious. Oh my goodness. She was she was a narcissist too. Fuck. But anyways. She was a psycho with the thermostat. And uh claiming that I was eating everything and being bulimic. I was like I was legit losing weight because the only thing I was eating was flipping cereal. Like corn pops. That was my corn pops. And I was eating them. That's all I was eating. Because I was I would cook them food. And I wasn't allowed to eat any of that food. It was corn pops. Just, I'd sit there at the table and I'd pour milk in my corn pops. And then there was even talk about how I probably poisoned them because I'm not eating the food. And I was like, can I have some? And they were like, no, you don't work. Only, uh, you know, only we work. So you, I was, so I was, I was dependent on my, my ex, my first ex at the time. And when I was working, I was still making food, I was still taking care of everyone, and it was just like, dude, I was mowing the lawn, I was taking the trash out, I was doing everything. He sat on his big butt and flip and play video games all flipping day and did not change a diaper, did not do anything like that. And uh, his sister was bragging how her her uh, boyfriend could was would like rub his feet and everything and how she uh she had like um her kids were in daycare and how she was she was complaining about this and that like uh daycare would only take them for like four hours and she needed more time for herself and i didn't have any time for myself i was working that whole time <laughs> I mean, there was like four years where I wasn't working that was uh, split up between, so my, my eldest went to this one uh, school early, like when he was three years old, uh, because he needed speech therapy and we got into this program where he could, um, he was able to uh, join the school and so he was like in kindergarten for like two to three years before he you know went over kindergarten just because of the age because it was like a kindergarten preschool kind of thing I don't know it was weird but he was in in school with uh, a lot of like adorable children that were, you know, in the same situation he was. But there was this one where they, they called uh, her the mama of the classroom. She was adorable. So she she had uh, Down syndrome and it didn't affect her like other people where, you know, some people just give up on teaching and, and then they end up just being totally dependent. This, this little girl, she she addressed me she's like oh she's like oh you're you're uh, gabriel's mama and i was like yeah she's like well i'm his mama at, at school and i was and she's like you got to be okay with that and i was like i am totally fine with that i was like as long as you're caring for him i am fine with it and she smiled and she was like she's like good because some of the mamas don't like me being mamas and and i was well being mama to to their kids and i was like I was like, you are too precious. I was like, you are adorable. And like, she she gave me this great big smile and she's like, thank you. But like, dude, there was this other little boy who took me by the hand and dragged me all over the place. And I was told that I resembled uh, his mother. But she had passed a few years back and I was like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I did, they told me afterwards because like I was just letting him lead me around and uh, my son Gabriel at the time he was like three, four and uh, he was coming along with us and he was getting a little jealous and so I put him on my, my lap and everything and 
um, this little boy was just showing me like all of his favorite stuff in in the, the classroom. They had these like awesome little toys and uh, the teacher was walking me through how they disinfect everything and whatnot because I had asked. I was like so, I was like with the toys, I was like there, there's a lot of kids in here. I was like, how are you keeping the kids from getting sick? I mean, are are you cleaning the toys? You know, how often are you cleaning the toys and whatnot? I'm 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 a little not not um what is that called um I, I'm not one of those germaphobes, but you know, little kids playing with other little kids, it gets it gets a bit messy and germs are been everywhere. I mean, you can't help it. But so I'm going through these um, these questions with them, and this little boy is just showing me like all the stuff, and and then after his his dad uh, comes in and comes to pick him up because he was a little uh, late. He was like a half hour late, and I was doing a what it was like IEE kind of things I, I don't know it's like uh, where they're trying to see where they're trying to like te not teach but they're they're showing you where your child's progression is um at, at the time oh my goodness there was this one time they were like you know you you need you really need to like uh um, give your, your child, uh, stuff that he can actually, you know, use, you know, we don't have time to, like, this, this was, like, uh, a teacher in, like, his first grade teacher, I think, or the first time he was actually in kindergarten, that was, like, a few years, yeah, so it was, like, I think it was his, uh, his first, uh, kindergarten teacher, because it was like the preschool and then the kindergarten so they were like you you need to to give uh him something that like he can actually you know get do you have any sippy cups or i was like we don't use sippy cups at home um uh, and he was they were like oh you know he he's not uh, able to you know drink by himself and blah, blah. i was like yeah he is and they were like you you shouldn't um you shouldn't give him the juice boxes if he can't uh, use them. And I was like, I, I was like, hold on, I have a juice box right here, and I like, I carried like a few juice boxes just in case we were out and he was thirsty. So I grabbed like this little apple juice out and I pulled it out and I handed it to him, and he took he took it he took the little yellow straw out and he stuck it in and started drinking it and he like kind of like you know. Uh, handed me the flipping <laughs> the trash he's like yeah yeah deal with this and and I was like that's that's I was like I taught him <laughs> how to do this I was like you just have to make sure that you take the trash because it's gonna end up getting stuck somewhere and they were like oh well we didn't know that and I was like well if you had asked I was like I wouldn't put something in my child's lunchbox if he wasn't able to eat or drink it I mean I don't understand so they they, they went about making a note on it but see the thing was they kept not giving my child his food and they were like, oh, he keeps like eating off of other kids' plates and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, well, you know, he's not touching his food because it, it's still in his, like, you know, lunchbox. And they were like, well, you keep not giving it to him. And I was like, it is in his flipping backpack. I was like, just look in the damn backpack. Holy damn. And they're like, we've looked in there, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, flip, fine. I was like, if he wants school lunches, okay. And then there was a problem with him uh, not paying the school lunches. And I was like, I write in the notebook where the flipping, because there was this notebook where you had to um, 
write your thoughts and feelings about the day or if there was anything that you needed to address with the teachers they would read the notebook and then you would have to like date it and then they would write something back and we'd have conversations via notebook okay well they they had um they weren't reading the notebook other than to put something in the notebook and I was like <sighs> so then I had to call the principal and explain that um, not only were, were they um, bringing like they were putting girl clothes in they kept putting girl clothes in his backpack and I was like I don't understand this and he was like what and I was like yeah I was like maybe they think this this backpack is a female's it was a blue backpack with sharks on it I mean I don't know how much boy ish you can get with it but it, it was it had his name on it it had his last name on it and it was a blue backpack with sharks on it mmm <laughs> So they kept putting little girl leotards in the flipping backpack. And I was like, I kept writing notes saying like, I don't think the parents of these leotards are going, are, are, you know, they're, they're miss, you know, they're going to miss this. And I was like, and I'd like to see my, my child's uh, clothes back because, you know, he had some jeans in here and we're missing like maybe five pairs of his jeans already. Uh, he, they were they were putting like Dora the Explorer diapers on him, and I was like, "Are you flipping kidding me?" And they were like, "Oh, they're unisex," and I was like, "They say f girls on it and girl power." I was like, "What? What the flip?" They they had these um My Little Pony diapers as well. I was like, "Dude." what is wrong with these teachers and they were like oh we just you, you didn't have any diapers in the book i was like dude i donate big boxes of flipping diapers just so that that kind of thing wouldn't happen and these diapers were unisex they were um they had little abcs on them one two threes so some of the diapers said A, B, C, and then some of them said one, two, threes, and it was like rainbow colored, like some of them were red, blue, and green, and others were like purple, green, and, and yellow. It was, it, it was pretty damn unisex. I mean, dude, his, his diapers were unisexed, and I was just like, what the flip? So... I figured that if I put more male di more male-ish like diapers in his diaper thing, they would realize that he was a male. I mean, not that the plumbing was hard to find, but I I kind of figured I kind of thought that the uh, the teachers there were kind of incompetent or racist, one of the two, but. It was, uh, it was a bit crazy. It's a bit crazy. So after my conversation with the, um, with the principal, uh, he said that he was going to look into it. And, uh, he said that every time that they, uh, they uh, give him like female diapers and whatnot to notify him because he said that he had had some other uh, parents call with these concerns as well and I was like well well good because I I felt like we were being targeted and he was like oh no I, I you know mrs. blah 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 um, I'm not giving you my my <laughs> my last name but anyways so um, yeah, I went back to my maiden name, but eventually. Uh, then they went about, um, we were missing two of his pairs of shoes. And 
they were on him whenever he left the school. But on the school bus, somehow they disappeared. And I was like, what, is he getting mugged on the way home? I don't understand what's going on. And the, uh, they, they couldn't find them. And then half the time it was the, um, oh, damn. The flippin', what is that called? So there were aides, like, uh, bus aides. There were, there was a bus driver and then there were, like, one to two bus aides that were, uh, in charge of making sure the, the kids were buckled up and they were, you know, uh, sitting still and whatnot and everybody was getting all of their stuff before they get off the bus because, so apparently, um, even though my son didn't do this in the car, he was, he took off his shoes on the bus and I was like, wait, what? I was like, I know he takes off his shoes when he gets home, but I was like, he doesn't even do this in the car, so what, why would he do this on the bus? But anyways had to buy him quite a few pairs of shoes just so that we knew that he had some for the next day. It was, it was kind of crazy. Oh, this one time we had like, uh, he came home with some girl sandals on. I was like, are you flipping kidding me? <laughs> I was like, what, what is wrong with these people? I was like, these don't even look like boy shoes. Dude, I swear the last straw was whenever they cut his hair, they, they gave him bangs and we were growing out his hair and uh, he had his hair in a ponytail and it was, it was totally fine. So they said that he would take out his ponytail and I was like what what do you mean he takes out his ponytail because like when he's at home he just keep the, he kept it in like all day long there was no you know he he didn't like the hair in his face and when 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 we like you know um when he had his hair down he would wipe it out of his face and that was it and there wasn't a problem with it and I was like well why do you keep taking his hair out and uh they were like we're, we're not taking his hair out he's taking it out and I was like well he doesn't do that at home so why would he do that at school I was like who's taking his hair out so then it, it ended up uh they cut his hair and I called the principal for the first time. And then I explained what else had been happening. Because I was I was livid at the at them put like this was his first haircut. And they had uh put his hair in a Ziploc bag and sent it home with him. And I was like, what the flip? And they were like, oh they, they cut his hair because he was uh, wiping it out of his face and he his hair was long enough to put in a ponytail towards the back of his head. His hair was like, you know, it would all go in there except for a little bit on the back and that was fine. It wasn't in his face. So we, I had to cut his hair to match the rest of the length and then uh, spike it up and he loved his hair spiked and he kept coming home with his hair um, not spiked you know, you know what I mean like they were like it was bothering and it was bothering him and we had to wash his hair out I was like what the flip is going on there so I flip and I I told the uh, the principal all about this and he was like He's like, I am so sorry. He's like, anytime you need to, you know, call me and talk to me, you, you let me know what they're doing. Please just, you know, just tell me first. And I think it was because they could have gotten a lot of trouble for cutting his hair. Like a super massive lot of trouble. 
I mean, I, I probably should have called the police about that because I was flipping worried. I was like, what kind of psychos do that? I was like, that is, that is not their child. They have no say-so in any part of his body. Like, at all. It was like, holy damn. Still remember him uh first day he got on the bus and then like when he got off the bus he was just so happy and then like the next day he was just he wanted he wanted to continue to go back i mean the preschool he had a blast at but when he got to kindergarten he was like acting out a little and whatnot and it was like i i had some concerns like some massive concerns like his first teacher he loved mrs clark i mean he really really loved her and like during the iee meetings and whatnot he wanted to sit with her and uh he was having a grand time and like so the one of the speech therapists had, I, I guess you could say, accidentally taught my son how to bite his hands. And so I had to make these little itty bitty gloves, like fingerless gloves, so that he wouldn't bite his hand. He bit the glove and it was uh, thick enough that he would not uh, bite through it and he barely hurt his, his skin. So when uh this other speech therapist had made some gloves too and um they they were putting this like weighted vest on him and they said that it was calming him and i was like uh, okay but like so when when he got upset, he liked to go off by himself, and I do the same thing. Like, I get upset, I, I need I need to chill for a minute. Like, what is that called? Um, alone time. <laughs> uh, like, when you're frustrated and you're angry about something, and you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings and you don't want to yell you don't want to scream you don't want to you know attack anyone because of this or that you walk away from the problem okay and you you gather your emotions and you work through the problem try to find oh hey there's a bat in here that's so cute there's two bats <gasps> that is adorable so i i walk through I walked through the problem and so I guess he was taking after me with the whole walking away from the situation because I would tell him I needed a minute and then I'd, I'd take that minute and I'd, I'd possibly do a little stress cleaning while I was taking that minute and he would leave me alone for that minute and then after that minute was done I was like okay I was like, I'm sorry I got upset, and then I, I would, you know, I would tell him why I got upset, and then I would go about saying, like, okay, so if we need to do this, you can't do this, but we can do this, okay? And, you know, he would either nod or, like, you know, shake his head, and then I'd be like, okay, so what, what do you want to do about this? But yeah, so we we talked through some issues. I mean, but when he got upset or frustrated about about certain things that were going on, 
he would go off into his room sometimes he would like steal some candy or whatever maybe a cookie or two and then like <laughs> run off to the room oh he was so clever so flippin clever him and his brother they would make a mess somewhere and um, while you're cleaning the mess up they would <laughs> take a broom and get the cookies off the top of the fridge because I knew they couldn't get them on top of the fridge <laughs> and one would get the broom and the other one would like distract me and <laughs> then the cookies would fall down one of them would grab them and put them underneath the shirt and <laughs> they'd run into the room and then the other one would like you know kind of you know saunter away and then like both of them were just gone you you wouldn't see them while you were cleaning up the mess and they would get a good couple cookies like stuffed in their mouth and it was it was great it was great I couldn't even be mad about it. I was just like, okay, well, I guess you're not getting any dessert for, for the night since you already, like, ate your dessert. But, you know, they'd sit there and smile about it. And I was like, that was pretty damn clever. I was like, but, you know, next time you're both helping me clean, you know, we're, we're not doing this every time. <laughs> mm. So clever. But I love the teamwork they showed. That was, it was impressive. So impressive. Mm. I miss them terribly. I got my check today. In 40 hours I worked. But damn, it's thirteen dollars an hour. It's, it's not what I I thought I was going to get because they they took taxes out of the flipping thing and whatnot, and I. I might have undercalculated some things. <laughs> this is maybe. And I have to recalculate certain things to see if I'm even able to budget with this. So, ugh. I'm a little worried because, like, I only get, like, maybe 32 hours. Um, but seeing how I was working over my shift because we were understaffed and whatnot and I was asked to work over my shift and I got up to 40 hours uh, last week and I don't know how much I got uh, this week coming but I know that this Christmas week I'm not getting that much maybe 30 hours if that maybe 28 and I'm like Alright, I, I still have some expenses that I need to pay. And, uh... I'm, I'm pretty sure that I might be able to do it. But I don't know what a 32-hour schedule with the deductions that they're, they have is going to be like. And are the deductions going to raise or... Anyways, so I, I have to recalculate some things and I also have to put my my money in the bank because it's still in the purse. Give me a check. I was like, wow. It's like first I was like, oh yeah, this isn't the whole, uh, and I, I look at the, how many hours I worked, 40 hours, and I was like, dude, that... I was like, that's not as much as I calculated, and because like my last job, they didn't take the taxes out and whatnot. Um, because it was a restaurant and everything, and they were doing everything old school or something. I don't know. And then like someone had told me that they don't do uh, taxes in this um 
they don't do any like sales taxes in 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 the state that I'm in and so I'm finding that they they do certain sales taxes here and there but yet they don't in other places so I'm kind of a little confused <laughs> with the situation I'm just gonna use this one. Excuse me. Carbonation. So. It's like I might need another flipping job just to pay my rent and bills I might have to swap down to the the lower plan of flipping internet eh. so it might get even slower and worse <laughs> so it's like uh... so I was told that the whole thing is the boonies like this this is what it's like living in a mountain and i was like well in and around a mountain um the internet sucks like the uh people overcharge for certain things because they know that you can't get them unless you you order them online and then the ordering online is Sorry, I just... I just remembered something. Um, so, speaking of ordering, there, there was this, uh, <laughs> this, um, UPS, uh, person. Oh my goodness, there were two stories of UPS people today. So, uh, the first story was someone, um, kind of, what is that called, um, what the flip is that called? It's, it's not like a swoop and hit, but it's like, it's, um, so when he was backing up into the, the normal place that he backs up into to get the the packages and everything he honks his horn and he um what, what is that called um he the little truck back backs up and goes beep 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 and he he honks the horn to make sure like people uh you know hear and whatnot i was on lunch when this happened and so uh the the ups person was was uh you know telling me the, the story and he was like he's like can can you believe that he's like this this guy just like pulls back into me and i hit the side of his car while backing up and i was like i was like what i was like i'm sorry i i was on lunch i just came back from lunch and and he he, uh, he explained what happened and um, the, the the guy was obviously trying to get money you know from I guess the company or whatever and he had he had the the UPS person back up into him because he took advantage of a blind spot and he swooped right into him and a customer said that they actually saw that and was like wow people really are like uh you know they were saying how like people are crap and but um that that was like it was like dude dude that was that was crazy and so he had to sit there and wait um, for the cop to come so that they could like do a little damage like assessment and everything. 
it was like, dude, that, that really sucks. Like, how someone's gonna be trashy enough to sit there and and try to take advantage of somebody who's just doing their job? Ugh. Yeesh. But... Oh damn, I really went out of the way. But, um... And then the, the second UPS driver that came in... He was wearing an entire Grinch suit, complete with Santa hat and whatnot. I, I was with a customer, and I saw him come in, and he just he just stood and stared at me for a minute to to gauge my reaction, and I, I, I just went. I was like, "Hi," he's like, "How's it going?" And then he he went about doing his his UPS thing. And, uh, and I was, I was trying to keep composure and the, uh, the customer, he, he broke out a little in, in the laughter and I was like, I'm sorry, I just can't. I was like, I, I tried to like, I tried to save face and, and I was just, I cracked up a little and I, I put my head kind of on the desk and I, I laughed a little bit and I was like, I'm sorry. I just, I, and he was like, no, it's funny. It really is funny. And, uh. He's like, do you know him? I was like, not not too well, but I was like, I've seen him around, and and he was like, does he work here? And I was like, I was like, kind of. I was like, he's a UPS uh, uh, driver. Yeah, he comes in at four thirty, and uh, he was he did that to them yesterday too, and uh, one of the associates she said she was laughing so hard. Like, at first she was like, what the hell is going on? And, because he had come back, like, behind the, the, the desk and started, like, moving stuff. And she didn't know who he was at first because he had a full-on mask. And, like, uh, then she noticed, like, the little UPS uh, thing that he had going on. I, <laughs> so... Whenever he he came uh, back around, and I was like, I love the costume, and he's like, thanks, thanks. And he he asked me how things were going, and I was like, they're I was like, they're they're going a lot better now, and I was like, thank you for the laugh, and he was like, yeah, anytime. But that was, dude. I had a few customers trying to to uh, get me to laugh today, and like this um. Because whenever I say, okay, so there is this rewards program for uh, the store I'm working in. And they, okay, so I ask if they have, a, you know, if they have rewards with us. And then they give me their phone number and I type it in. And then I say, well, I got a this and a that. And uh, this lady, uh, the elder, older lady and um she she had said oh i i got one of those too and because like his name was roy and i was like i got a roy and i got a uh you know her name and she's like she's like oh i got a roy too and she's like well this one's mine she's like where's yours and i was like I was, at first i was like wait what and then I was like, ah, okay. And then like I had smiled about that because she was she was being cute about it. And um, she, she's like, ah, we got her to laugh. She's like, oh, hello, digs. Um, by the way, seven. <laughs> okay. But anyways. So she got me, the, she was like, I, uh, we got her to laugh, let's see if we can do it again. And uh, I was like, well, it's, I was like, it's always a good day to smile and laugh. And she's like, well, yeah, that's good. And I was, I was like, yep. I was like, it's not a good day unless there's a smile going on. And she's like, well, you made my day. And I was like, well, I'm, I'm happy to have made your day. But, like, she's a really sweet woman. And then I had uh, uh, these two women who were trying to uh, get me to smile. 
and uh, they were like, oh, it's such a stressful like day today. She's like, well, how's your day going? And I was like, it's, it's going. And someone had mentioned my name and they were like, I've never seen it spelled that way. And I was like, I was like, yeah, well, I, I was like, I've seen it spelled with this and that and ah, oh, damn. I forgot I wasn't supposed to be using that one. Frack. <laughs> Let me go make another. Where is my, there it is. So I, um, she was like, okay, it was more along the lines of, she asked me if there, like, if there was any other name that I wanted to have, what would it be? And she, cause I was like, yeah, uh, she had asked if my mother had named me that. And I was like, well, no, I was like, it was kind of like my, my stepdad, but he didn't know it was my stepdad. He was my stepdad at the time. And she was like, she's like, oh, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> but well, I'll just swap these out. All right, and then she's like, well, if you, you had any, uh, if you could be like Anne of Green Gables, what, what, uh, name would you choose for yourself? And I was like, hmm, and she's like, uh, her friend was like, oh, I think we stumped her, and, and I was like, well, yeah, I was like, and she's like, any name at all, and I was like, I, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, that, that's a good question. If you could have any name, if you could name yourself, what would you name yourself? It's like, dude. It was like, I found out that my name was like, is kind of really cocky. And I was like, is it? Because I looked up the meaning for like my name. And... Like, my, my middle name was, like, is cocky. My first name is cocky. And I was like, but I'm not really a cocky kind of person. It's, it's, it's weird. Just really, really weird. Damn. I think I went too far in. <laughs> Super too far in. Okay, so we can just go the first five and then left. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> I'm still thinking about it. Like, what would. I name myself if I were to name myself something. Probably something not cocky. <laughs> Cause apparently my name means something about brilliant queen. And I was like, what? I was like, I don't, I don't think I'm a queen. And I was like, what, what kind of brilliant does that mean? It, is it like light brilliant, like shining, like, or like intelligent brilliant, you know, it, it didn't specify. And then my middle name meant something along the lines. I mean, if you look up your name and, uh, like in those like baby book kind of like things. Well, I mean, there's like these, um, what is that called? There's these websites where it gives you the name of like meanings of the names and whatnot and where they originated, how long they've been in circulation, what is the most popular name of this year and that year and blah, blah, blah. It's essentially used to, like, you know, name children. 
but I like knowing the meaning of some words, I guess, because, like, there's... Okay. In my little conspiracy, like, investigation, there were, like, words mean things. That not just this thing, but it also means this thing, and I'm like... Right, okay. I was like, well, then why do they have definitions for these words as these things? And, and not those things. But then I was like, wait, so he said that also names have meanings. And I was like, well, I'm curious now. And I, I guess it was kind of uh, conceited to sit there and look up your name just to see what it meant. But I was curious. Okay. Now we're... Oh. Well, I did go kind of that far with the other thing, too. Well, we're good. We're good, then. So. I am very chatty because I drank flipping Mountain Dew. And I'm going to still drink some. Even though I probably shouldn't because it's, like, after eating. I got to cut off some sugar. Well, I'm having problems because... <clears throat> there, now it's off. That little band, when I first pulled it off, it kept coming off with this thing, with the, the cap. I am definitely not endorsing the product that I'm drinking, but I, I do like the taste. It is extremely too sugary and extremely too caffeinated. So it's like drinking a, uh, what is it called, um, flip, energy drink, that's what they're called. And I kind of use them like an energy drink. I needed some more pep in my step to, to get up the mountain. As I say that, I get really quiet. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm chatty. And then it's just silence. And... I can't recall. Oh yeah, I was saying that I'm not endorsing it. And it was an energy drink. And... I really like it. There, Dude, there are some conspiracy theories. About... Uh, Mount, sorry. I'm gonna say it. Mountain Dew... Um, with their commercials about how they're trying to get people more um, used to reptilians and blah 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 and I'm just like what, whatever I was like who cares I was like people have been living here like lots of different beings for like centuries I mean, we, we have the little ones that crawl on fours. Why not have some of the big ones? I, I'm, I don't have a problem with it as long as they're not eating anybody. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure there's other ways to get sustenance. It's like we've all adapted to certain ways of getting food. Oh my goodness, so I watched this other conspiracy thing. They were making food animate, like animated, like they were animating uh, broccoli, french fries. I don't know what they were doing to it to make them move around like that. But this, this like little thing of broccoli that had been, that looked like it had been cooked 
was moving around and I was like what the flip is going on and it wasn't CGI it wasn't like animated and, and or like you know digitally uh, constructed this this was like a real piece of like kind of cooked broccoli and they were like sentient food blah 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 and I was like well it was already sentient I mean it could already feel and and I was like what the hell did they do to it to make it move around like that I was like what the hell did they add to it what did they did they grow this just to, to experiment on it it's like obviously something like that it was it was crazy i mean if you look it up it, it was like dude dude that this morning I was I was thinking about that a little bit today I was like wow that was that was disturbing and then the guy made it the, the guy who was hosting this uh, conspiracy uh, review had uh, sat there and made a little joke about how french fries were twer twerking and I was like I was like I don't think he really understands what's going on with that that was that that's kind of really uh really crazy i was like what did they add to it to make it you know move around like that i mean like did they add something like another organism to it and then the organism kind of took over i don't know who knows it could have all been fake but that was just really freaky it looked pretty damn real. Oh, dude. And they also showed this, like, um... What is that called? Okay, so it was the AI-generated story kind of video. It was a short video, short story about these, uh... These people who were... Um, they're like, yeah, you know, come to this place and you'll be happy. All you have to give us is your identity, your very core, your, your very being. And I'm like, well, why the hell do they need that? Like, it's kind of, kind of really creepy. I mean, if you look at this up, it's like, it, it's just really weird. And then they were like, uh, everyone there has to be happy, like, all the time. I was like, before it even got sinister, like, like it did, it, it was really creepy. It was like, wait, what is going on here? What are we, what? And, ugh. It was, it was, uh, whew, off-putting to begin with because they were, you could tell that certain people weren't happy, but I was like, why are they trying to get people in there to, to be, you know, like, you know, happy and everything? And, I don't know what it was called, but it was like an AI-generated short story about a world where um you could have all your fantasies come true all your your what wants and blah 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 i was like you i was like it reminded me of something from the twilight zone excuse me of the this um um 
Okay. So there was this one Twilight Zone episode where these, uh, well, this, um, this gangster had, he had died. Okay. And he thought he went to heaven and was like, oh, the big guy messed up and, you know, well, I'm going to rock this until I, you know, I, I get sent to like hell or blah, blah, blah. And they were like, oh no, there's no mistake. This is, this is where you're, you're supposed to be. And, you know, he's like, the big guy doesn't make mistakes. And so throughout the episode, he was getting, he was gambling, he was drinking, he was with women, like a woman every flipping night, multiple women. And uh, he, he was happy. He was ecstatic. He was getting everything he wanted. And then, you know, he, he always won. Okay. He always got the girl. He, he always got to do what he wanted to do. He got the food he wanted. He only got the food he wanted. He got it exactly how he wanted it. Well, he started to get bored with that and then started to tell some of the females to, you know, resist them a little and whatnot. But they just wanted him and, and he was like, you know, just say no. And, and he, and they just, you know, wanted him. And he was like, how about you make me lose with the, the, the game, you know, gambling and everything. So, th this guy who was supposed to be watching him, you know, pretty much, uh, he was the display of uh, the devil, apparently, at, towards the end, you, you got a feel for it, you know, he was like a demon or a devil, uh, looked like a regular person, and, ooh, and, um, the... The guy who was getting all of his heart's desires and everything was super bored with it. And it ended up being like a type of hell for him because it was only thrilling whenever he was, when there was the, the chance to, to lose, when there was the chance to, to win and lose. But if there's not a chance, then it's just... It, it's boring as flip, you know? And he didn't want the alcohol anymore. He didn't want the food. He wanted something that he didn't like. And they wouldn't give him what he liked. And well, what he didn't like. And he'd only have what he wanted. And he's like, well, I want this now. And they were like... He was like, no, you were very specific with you never wanted to see this. Or drink this. Or eat this. And... So he was trying to get things that he didn't like um, in in this place just so that he could feel some semblance of norm normal normality, I guess it was. And um, it reminded me of of that from that weird AI generated story, that short story. And I was like, well, you know, getting everything you want after a while gets kind of boring and then people will need new thrills and new new excitement and whatnot and it's like the reason why life is, is so beautiful in certain regards is because there's a give and a take um i don't like uh, feeling pain but eventually there are times when I have to feel pain because I'm pushing myself to extreme I I accidentally get a paper cut or I bump my knee or I, I do something to like stupid two three four five that was five okay so um I'm not saying that, you know, getting rid of pain completely would be a bad thing, 
but it wouldn't be a good thing either because eventually you wouldn't know if you were actually hurting your body. Pain is a, um, a good indicator that you've done something to your body that your body cannot deal with. And without that indicator saying that, ooh, you know, maybe you should be a little more gentle or maybe you should ease back a bit, you know, or, you know, you might hurt us even more, then, you know, you would end up possibly, you know, killing yourself <laughs> with uh, the type of uh, stuff that you might do. Like, okay, so there are extremists. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. We're not, we're not gonna go into the the weird, uh, the fetish things. I'm talking about extremists to like to adrenaline. Um, okay, uh, adrenaline junkies. I think that's what they're called. They mountain climb. They, they go surfing in, in super gnarly uh, conditions like I mean it's super storming and they're still out there on the board going crazy and whatnot um I need that I really really need that give me a second Okay, so with these extremists of the adrenaline junkie variety, they might push their bodies to the point where um, they uh, obviously they're going to frighten themselves to the point where they get that um, that relief from surviving it. That you know whew, that was close kind of thing. You know how, like, uh, if you've ever walked across the street and almost got hit by a car that just came out of nowhere, and you're like, holy flip, that was close. That feeling, but, like, multiply it by, like, not an infinity, but, like, maybe 10 to 20 times, okay? That, that's what ad adrenaline junkies are, are looking for. They're trying to get those extremes, those extreme uh, high, the extreme like, I did it, you know, kind of moments. I was like, I, I don't really need to, to go and climb up a mountain, like on the cliff side of a mountain. I, I push my bike up a mountain. I look, dude. But, um... I would like to go cave diving. I know it's scary, but I I would kind of really like to go cave diving. My knee would probably give out, out and I wouldn't be able to do anything, but I think it would be fun. Like spelunking, you know? That would be fun. They're, they're uh, coming out with like uh, suits and whatnot that uh, people can, what is that called, um, that helps them to do certain things. And I was like, well, what if you, okay, so it helps people lift packages and stuff. And I was like, well, what if they made a suit where you could like climb, you know, and that would open the opportunity to people with like weak upper body strength or you know problems with uh say their knee or their legs and whatnot and they they could get their little you know hey i did it kind of thing too you know how many like things we might discover if there were like a lot of people well, I mean, we would probably bother more things than not. But if uh, things were more accessible to certain people, like such as researchers and whatnot, 
people who are passionate about certain things. <clears throat> uh, we might discover a whole hell of a lot more from like in cave systems than what we initially thought were possible. There is a crocodile that has evolved to be in caves and it's orange. I was like, that's flippin' amazing! I'm sorry. I like crocodiles and I am so happy that they're gonna survive. I'm just so happy. Um, they're a lot smaller <laughs> than what they were. Like, what, what they are now, but it's, it's cute. I, you don't really see too many orange creatures, you know, and like for crocodile to be orange it was it was just like wow this is spectacular i mean if you look it up it is is cute it's really cute i mean if you like crocodiles and alligators and whatnot but and there are there are frogs that live in caves there are like shrimp uh whole lot of different insects and whatnot. There are fish that have uh, adapted to live in caves. It's like it's like looking at something from another world almost. It's like the discovery of it is just flipping. Yeah, I might have a problem with that. <laughs> like discovering. Like I, I'm a little bit of an adventurer and I like to seek things out. And that, that could put me possibly in some danger. Just 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 a little bit. Just just a little bit. And it's not just to discover like I don't like put my name on something. I don't I don't care about that. I don't care about what they what other people call it or classify it in the, the future. I just wanna know it, it how to it uh survives, how it did you know, evolve, how it, like, flipping, uh, what is that called, um, what, what was it, its evolution, where did it come from, how is it existing now, why did it, it, it its, uh, body choose to, um, evolve or mutate into these certain types of things with these attributes, and it, it just fascinates me. Just like, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm weird. It's like, just, I wouldn't want to cut it open at all. I would just like to like watch it, you know, It'd be like weird stalkerish. <laughs> it's like, hey. I'm just gonna watch you do your daily things and then write it down. That's all. <laughs> it was like, oh my goodness. Whoops. I almost want to go into work tomorrow just to see if the, uh, the UPS person is uh, still wearing the Grinch costume. I wonder if he's going to wear it till Christmas. <laughs> it was like obviously he's staying warm in it because it was a full body costume. I mean his hands were like green and furry on the side. His like it was like a whole like costume. The, the face mask, the, I mean, and then, like, he had the little UPS. I was like, dude, his wife prob and kids probably love that flipping costume. I mean, it made my day. It flipping made my day. And that was the one that they, they claimed was, like, always angry. I was like, dude. I was like, I don't, I don't think he's always angry. I was like, to sit there and watch him walk in with uh, that full getup. I was like, dude, 
was pretty fantastic. I can't stop thinking about it. It was hilarious as hell. And tis the Christmas season and whatnot. Like, we're three days away. Yep, three days away. Because today is the 22nd. I'm sitting here shivering. I'm cold. Oh. I'm gonna stream tomorrow. I still haven't got my milk. I I was gonna get it, but then I didn't. I also didn't go to the uh what the hell is that called? Post office. I almost called it a library. I was like, I can't get stamps at a library. What the hell is it called? The stamp place. Like, I'm wondering if it's gonna cost more just to get some stamps to, and like mail the letter. I should probably like just pay my rent too while I'm there. Cause I gotta get a money order and flipping. And then I gotta pay like flippings just about seven dollars just to get them to put it in a PO box that's right next to their office. It's fantastic, I tell you. So, it's like two something for them to put the stamp on and uh, mail it from the office. And it's like in five something just to get the money orders. It's, it's atrocious. I'm thinking about just like pulling out money and then asking my uh, landlord to come visit me. <laughs> it's like, hey, I was like, could, could could you just come down here so I can like hand you some cash? <laughs> just like here and I think about the stuff I have to do. Did I make that? Doesn't look like it because I can't get up. Maybe. I totally made that. I really did. Alrighty, so. Oops. in any diamonds. It's like, what the hell? Did the new update, like, make it so that you can only find them in certain regions? It's being under a jungle, not a good thing. I'm 
I'm trying to think if I messed up anywhere today. I did drop things. Oh, flip. I made such a fool of myself. <laughs> In Dollar General. So, <clears throat> I was purchasing things. And I, I was going through the little menu pretty damn quick. And I accidentally... Um, hit cancel on the, uh, the, the payment and I was like, damn it. And I was like, hold on, I'm sorry. I was like, I have to go through that again. And while I was going through it, I dropped damn near the full contents of my wallet on the floor. <laughs> and so I had to pick it up. It, it was amusing. It was rather amusing. And I was like, ah. Oh. I was like, it's just one of those days. I was like, I am so sorry. And he's like, it's okay. It's okay. But, yeah. It was, uh... Like, at work, I, I didn't I didn't really mess up at all. I was, I was kind of happy about that. Like... Oh, cool chill. I don't think I messed up. Oh, damn. So, somebody wrecked the... Okay, so a customer came up and, like, after asking where the restroom was, and she was like, she's like, I, I don't know if you know, but there, like, someone wrecked the female's bathroom, and I was like, what? She's like, you might want to tell someone about it, and I was like, I'm thinking, like, what, what did they do to wreck it? Did they... They they went to the restroom and possibly threw like paper towels in the uh, the toilet. I was like, what, what the hell? I was like, there's toilet paper for a reason. I was like, why the hell would they be using paper towels? But whatever. So they they used the restroom and they had to go with the solid waste and the um so like i guess the the stuff that they used was paper towel and they they uh, tried to flush it and it didn't flush so someone had to go in there and clean it up I was like, no. Oh. It it did not make one of the manager's days. <laughs> they had to go back there and clean it. And he was like, oh, it wasn't that bad. He was like, they used toilet, they used uh, either too much toilet paper or some paper towels, and I was like, I was like, okay, <laughs> like, all right, that's uh. It's interesting. But he was telling us uh, that like back in the day when they had this other associate, he had to go, he had to put on P, PPE uh, equipment on, like the stuff that you use to what's that called? Flip. That you use to... Oh, I might actually have some room in a second here. You use it to clean like blood and, and whatnot. And um... They, he said that he had to put all his equipment on just to go clean up. Somebody had, back in the day, like, smeared poo all over the damn uh, male bathroom or something. And he was like, he was hoping it wasn't that bad. And, and I was like, oh dude, I was like, I hope it's not that bad either. I, I kind of half thought that they were going to send me back there, but it was already after my, my time to leave. And I was staying because it was busy. I stayed like maybe 
almost 20 minutes after. I almost got hit by a car, like flip. It was it was not my favorite. It's definitely not my favorite. You know what? I'll take this out. I'll fill that down. Now the search for diamond is uh it's not going very well. think of other things that were interesting at work. That's where I was all day. Well, most of the day. interesting thing that I did yesterday was I looked at some lunch boxes that I could maybe purchase but with the, the state of my check um, possibly not <laughs> conspiracy about Mountain Dew and how they're they're trying to get people to accept uh, I don't think it's um, humanoids but not you know like people who aren't essentially what is that called um human but yet they're uh, bipedals they're bipedals and it's like eh, whatever I was like people should be more open to uh certain things anyways like we're like we're the only creatures out there in in the whole entire galaxy. It's like what? I was like, yeah, and they're gonna look weird. We look weird. I think everyone looks weird, including myself. It's like, oh, 
Cool Joe. Technically, we're the only ones that actually have to pay to see. Pay to hear. Pay to be able to eat. I mean, like, damn. Like, glasses are expensive. Hearing aids are expensive. Getting uh, health care for your, your teeth. Dentistry is expensive. Trying to think of what else I need. I do already have that. Let me get another couple of these. Okay. Oh, flip. There was this uh, thing on, like, um... What is that? Uh, crop circles. And uh, certain people were like, yeah, they're, they're teaching us free energy uh, things that to give us free energy and whatnot and there was this one that was like right next to a windmill like you know hey why not try this instead kind of moment you know I was just like wow I was like yeah <laughs> I was like you know they're definitely not going to use it Cause there's there's a lot of people who are just flipping so damn greedy that they're willing to make others suffer just so that they can fill their their pockets with money. And there there is a point where money can't buy happiness. And I know for those who are like, oh yeah, it's uh, better to be crying in a Corvette than a Roy's Royce or whatever the hell, a Chevy, whatever. I think a Roy's, Roy's Royce, whatever that car is called, is um pretty damn expensive too. But um, I just like did. I, I really can't fathom why people would put money and their their gain above everything, just even everyone's well-being. Kind of reminds me of that like pink mayo that this person was trying to sell. She wasn't even making the mayo; she was just adding like pink food coloring to it, and then like it was it was coming to people expired and she's like oh that ain't my fault blah 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 they didn't even get anything approved by the FDA I mean considering certain aspects of the FDA it's not surprising yeah, the food and drug administration is what the FDA is. Um, they they can be bought, and people have, on many occasions, pointed this out that they can be bought, and proved that they can be bought. And everybody's sitting there complaining about big pharma, you know, big pharmacy companies. They're, they're, they're kind of right about the, um, uh, the Food and Drug Administration being bought. That means they're being bribed to the point where they're not... Okay, if... If you consider how much hair, feces, and rodent, like, bugs, uh, and eggs are allowed in certain types of food, and then you consider what is kind of illegal in other countries, 
and why they won't allow certain products to come across the border from in their countries because they allow these certain things in there and it's not good they will blow your mind just like how you know certain people like these fancy coffees and it's actually poo coffee it's uh it's kind of like that it still tickles my fancy oh so uh i have somebody sending me a what is that called It's like a coffee ma French press. So I was explaining to them how I make my coffee. And while I was explaining to them how I make my coffee, they ended up ordering me a, um, a French press. They were like, that is the most disgusting way. Like, cause I make it in a, um, I make it in my cup. But um, I have an electric kettle that, you know, heat up to boil and then I, I go about, um, wait a minute, I should have some stone down here or something. So I bring it to a boil and while the water is going to a boil, I put a, a a teaspoon of coffee into a half of napkin and I twisty tie the damn half of napkin until I can um <laughs> it, it, like to where it's like kind of going around the the napkin because I fold it and then I, I twist it and then I twist it this way and then I kind of uh turn it to the point where it's kind of hanging in there and then I wrap it around the handle yes I've done this quite a few times and and I'm explaining this and he he got really quiet and and I was like yeah because I was looking at thermoses and then I'm like well I can't really take my coffee with me because it would take forever just to make the coffee and um because i was like yeah payday's coming up and i might have a little extra to buy a lunch box and a thermos i'm gonna make it a christmas present to myself as well as a um a birthday present because my birthday's coming up too and yeah so I'll be getting it a few days after my birthday. Like I think January 3rd is when I'm getting it. But I I'm excited about that. He was like, ew, no. And I was like, what? <laughs> and he was like, he was like, what does it taste like? And I was like, well, it kind of tastes like napkin. <laughs> I was like, but you know, coffee, coffee is coffee. I'm not a coffee guru, you know. I, and I swear, if you send this little clip to this person and he has a conniption over it, I'm sorry. I'm making do as well as I can. Damn. Because I had a French press before and it's, uh, I guess in storage is what I was told. But I am thankful that I'm getting a, um, a French a new French press. And I was like, dude, this, this is going to be so awesome. I'm going to have flipping coffee. And not just coffee, coffee that doesn't taste like a napkin. I'm ecstatic. I'm just like, woohoo. <laughs> I 
like I don't have people coming over my house but that would have been a little bit embarrassing yeah you want some coffee oh it, it's gonna taste like napkin but you know hey <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a little after nine, like nine thirty. I should possibly, you know, I'm gonna grab this really quick. diamonds tonight. So sad. Machine learning. Okay. So. Alright. So I will see you tomorrow. Well, if you are on tomorrow. And video log will continue. But I won't really have anything to talk about since I talked about everything today. Um. Alright, well, ha have, have a, have a good night.